Hi, my name is Lauren Williams, and I am a trainer in New York City. I'm a Nike trainer, and I also work at Tone House New York, which is a sports performance gym. Today, I want to show you a stability ball workout. So the stability ball is amazing. Most people know that it is a great tool to work your core, but it's also great to work your entire body. So today, we're going to go through eight moves, and you're going to incorporate those into your workout. Okay guys, so we're gonna start with a lower body twist, all right? So you're in your plank position, both feet are on the ball. You're gonna turn your hips towards the right, stacking your hips and your feet, and then you're gonna come back to center and then go to the left. Back to center and to the right. So, as you can tell, this is pretty hard. You gotta stabilize through the core, really stabilize through the chest too, but this is great for um, your shoulders as well, all right? So again, you're gonna go to the left, to the right, back to center, and then to the left. Back to center. I would recommend going through three sets of those and do 12 to 15, right? So on both sides, 12 or 15. And if you need to take breaks, because it's definitely challenging, do that and then jump back in. So, stability ball push up. So you're here in your plank position, feet are on the ball. Keep your spine nice and tall, and you're going to lower down to the ground. You're giving me a push up with your feet elevated. Dropping low and coming up. So we're working that upper body. You've got your chest involved. You've got your biceps, your triceps. This is a great one. You're also using some stability. Super tough. You're gonna do eight to 12 of these. We've got the ball rock back. So this is another great shoulder one. So the ball is a little bit further up on your calves on this one. You're gonna push back, keeping your core tight, keeping the shoulders extended, the arms straight, and then you're gonna roll back to your starting position. So really work your shoulders and your arms here. You gotta keep them straight so that they're supporting you. Come back through. Everything's tight like a board. Plank style, extend, and come back. Go for six to 12 of these. If you're more advanced, you can go for 12. If you're just starting out, go for six. Okay, so for your straight leg raise, start on your back, both feet on the ball. You're gonna press those hips up, so you're getting your glutes involved now. You're gonna keep your butt squeezed, and you're gonna alternate lifting legs. So you're gonna lift it up, and come back down, and then do the other side. So for this one, I also want you to press your hands into the ground. That'll give you more stability. You're also gonna feel your triceps working here. So for this, Exercise, you should do 12 to 15 reps. Okay, so for this guy, we've got our hamstring curls using the ball. So you're gonna press those hips up. You're gonna keep your feet flexed. You're gonna roll the ball towards you, pulling your heels towards your butt, and then back out to start. I want you guys to keep the butt off the ground the whole time, and then you're gonna repeat that movement in and out. You're gonna feel the back of your legs, those hamstrings are gonna be on fire, as well as your butt. Even your calves are gonna feel this. Then pull it all the way in, extend it out nice and strong. Go for 12 to 15 reps a month. All right, so next move is back extension. So you're gonna come onto the ball, your, your stomach and your upper chest is on the ball. You're gonna put your hands behind your head and you're gonna start out nice and flat and long and you're gonna extend up, pulling your chest up, peeling off the ball, working your back muscles. And you're gonna go back to your starting position and you're gonna repeat that move. So squeeze the butt as well. I want you nice and tight in that plank position and then return. You can release all your muscles in this position and then get really tight here. You should feel this in your back. Awesome, 12 to 15 reps. So for your bridge thruster, you're gonna start, your butt is gonna be low to the ground, both feet are about hip width the shoulder width apart, hands behind the head and back resting on the ball. From here, you're gonna press up, hips to the ceiling, try to get into a tabletop position, and then you're gonna come back to your starting position. So you're definitely working your glutes, your butt, your back, keep extending up, get really tight at the top, and then come down. You wanna do 12 to 15 of these. All right, so our final move is a single leg lunge. So one foot goes on top of the ball, your toes are turned down, you're gonna balance on that other foot. You're gonna stay nice and tall, and you're gonna roll the ball back as you bend the front knee into a lunge, and then you're gonna come up tall at the top. So this requires a little bit of balance, but you're getting your quads involved on these guys, as well as the rest of your legs. Keep your chest nice and tall, roll down and come back up, down and up. You wanna do 12 to 15 on each leg.